Welcome, I'm Miss Lisa. You might also know me as Mrs. Brown at church. And this is my dog, Olive, and she welcomes you and is happy to see you too. I'm so very happy that you could come and visit at my home today. I have so much to share with you over the next few weeks while we are all tucked in at home. The first thing that I'd like to share with you is a song. It's a song that sings about how special all of us are, how much God cares for all of humanity across the globe, but also how unique each of us is in God's plan. No one has ever existed in the whole history of the universe who is exactly like you, and no one ever will. God has given you unique gifts to contribute to the common good of all of creation. Will you sing the song with me? Here are the words. God made me as I am, part of creation's plan. No one else can ever be the part of God's plan that's me. Today we're going to listen to a story from our gospel. It might be one that you've heard many times before, whether it be at Mass or in the atrium. But each time we listen to a story from the Bible, it can speak to us in a new and different way. That is why the Bible is called the Living Word of God. Because each time we listen, it is like God is speaking right to our hearts. And God's Word is a living thing that we hear in new ways as we grow and change. Whether we are four years old or 104 years old, God's Word always has new things to share with us. When Jesus walked the earth, people wanted to be near Him. They followed Him. They were attracted by what He said. And they wondered to themselves, who is He? Jesus looked like everybody else, but He spoke in such a special way. People were very curious about Him. One of Jesus' favorite things to do was to tell parables. Do you remember what a parable is? A parable is a story with a mystery. Not because Jesus wanted to conceal something from us or keep something hidden, but because the mystery of God is so big. The author of love, the creator of the universe, the one who designed our amazing bodies and brains, our God is simply so beyond anything we could ever imagine. So when it comes to understanding God and the great mysteries of our faith, knowing has to be balanced with unknowing and humility. God is much too big for us to ever fully grasp. And the words can only take us so far. Our words can point a finger towards the moon, but they are not the moon itself. So too with God, the words of Jesus' parables do not capture all that God is, but rather open our minds and hearts and point us in the right direction towards a deeper friendship with God. Once, when Jesus wanted to tell people a little bit about himself, he began by saying, I am the Good Shepherd. We can think about the job of a Good Shepherd. A shepherd takes care of his sheep, making sure that they have everything they need, like food and water and sunshine. And a shepherd keeps the sheep safe. Did you know that the shepherd knows each of his sheep by name? Pretty amazing. The shepherd can guide hundreds and hundreds of sheep, but each one has their own unique name that the shepherd knows by heart. Over time, the sheep begin to recognize his voice and to listen to him. A very special bond is created between the shepherd and his sheep. He guides them to good places to eat. He walks ahead of them to protect and defend them if there is danger ahead. This is a sheepfold.
During the day, the shepherd leads the sheep out of the sheepfold and walks with them to find good places to eat and rest. At night, since the sheep don't have sharp claws or big teeth like other animals to defend themselves, the shepherd leads them back into the sheepfold and closes the gate to keep them safe while they are asleep. I wonder why Jesus called himself the Good Shepherd. Let's listen together to his words from the Bible and see what else he said. In the little atrium, whenever we read from our sacred scriptures, we light a candle and we say some special words, but only adults can touch the matches and light the candle, okay? Jesus is the light of the world, a light no darkness can overcome. A reading from the Gospel of John. The Good Shepherd calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has brought out all of his own, he goes on ahead of them, and his sheep follow him because they know his voice. But they will never follow a stranger. In fact, they will run away from him because they don't recognize a stranger's voice. I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for his sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep and my sheep know me. Just as the Father knows me and I know the Father, and I lay down my life for my sheep. I have sheep that are not of this sheepfold. I must bring them in also. They too will listen to my voice and there shall be one flock and one shepherd. So I wonder what Jesus was trying to tell us about God with this story. I wonder how the sheep feel. The parable says that the good shepherd calls each sheep by their own name and they recognize his voice and follow him. Why do you think the sheep respond in this way? Hmm. 
I wonder if the shepherd loves his sheep and if the sheep love and trust him too. What do you think Jesus meant when he said that the good shepherd lays down his life for his sheep? Jesus said, I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. I wonder what Jesus wanted us to know. There are many ways we can continue to think about this lesson. Maybe you would like to draw a picture or write a poem or maybe a prayer about your favorite part of the parable. Maybe you would like to talk with someone at home about your feelings about this lesson or maybe some of the things that you are still wondering about. Maybe you would like to make your very own sheepfold for your prayer table at home. I have this really fun shepherd and sheep design that you can make from a paper towel roll that I can send to your parents. Just ask them to email me at Lisa Ann, A-N-N, Brown at gmail.com and I'm happy to send it to you. And if your adult at home would like to send me one of your drawings or poems or prayers, I would be so very grateful. And it would be wonderful to have some of your artwork hanging up in our little atrium here. There's a song that comes to mind whenever I wonder about this lesson that I'd like to close our time together with. I'm hoping you can sing with me. Here are the words. Guide me, O shepherd of my heart, Lead me homeward through the dark into everlasting day. Show me the way of truth and light. Keep me always in your sight. May my life never part from the shepherd of my heart. Would you like to sing that with me? Guide me, O shepherd of my heart. Lead me homeward through the dark into everlasting day. Show me the way of truth and light. Keep me always in your sight. May my life never part from the shepherd of my heart. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I hope to see you again soon. Thank you.